name's Molly, M-O-L-L-Y. I just love working at the Writing Center. I feel so accomplished when I help someone. Just, I mean, I love editing, I love reading, I love writing. I pretty much love everything about it. And I ask the best questions. You know, I've known Molly for a few months now and her habit of just asking these bad questions has gotten so progressively worse. Well, I've written this paper on Othello and how the other characters call him a devil because they hate him so much. Could you like just check over and make sure my arguments are there? Well, when I've always studied Othello, I always was taught that the other characters hated him because he was a Turk. So have you ever thought about considering race? Oh uh, no, I never really thought of that. You know, Molly's questions didn't even answer the student's concerns. Like, she was trying to lead him in a completely different direction that was just based on her own opinions. That guy's definitely getting there. It's like she's not even there. In pour eight milliliter of water into the dish. Does that sentence feel a little off to you? Yeah. I'm not sure. Him poured eight milliliters of water into the dish. Can you hear the word that's not fitting? No. So you don't think there's a word wrong there? That went on for 60 minutes! Molly's your textbook case of poor questioning. She knows when she's tutoring, question style is often preferred in order to ensure there's original content produced and that the student actually learns something from their session. But what she doesn't understand is how to ask the right questions, ones that prompt the student to their own thinking, and when it's appropriate to stop leading them on and just provide an answer. If Molly wants to be an effective tutor, she's going to need an intervention. My name's Van Pondra. Jeff Van Pondra. Molly, you have a group session in the conference room for 30 minutes. Okay, thank you. You've got to be kidding me. Molly, this is for your own good. Yeah. Molly, why don't you take a seat? Molly, I can tell you're upset. But all we have here is a few people that love you like crazy. Want to help you help yourself. Joe, why don't you take it away? Molly, your addiction to asking bad questions has affected the Writing Center in the following ways. You indirectly insert your own opinions into their papers through your leading questions. When students clearly don't understand the problem you're addressing, you waste valuable time by relentlessly asking questions that aren't going anywhere. At the Writing Center, we're meant to create better writers, but in order to do this, you need to understand the student's direction and formulate helpful questions from there. If you do not change your questioning methods, Molly, students are going to leave your sessions feeling uncertain and, and of their ideas and confused with what direction to go in. Please accept the help offered to you today, Molly. Let's take a look back. Your ESL student today clearly, clearly was not using the right pronoun and you kept leading him on and he just, he didn't know the answer and you kept asking him questions. Yeah, well, I thought questioning was the best tutoring method. Well, it's, it's true, but a lot of times in the interest of, you know, time, and if the student really doesn't know the answer, it's best to just go ahead and look, give it to him, get on with it. Well, then how do you formulate the right question? Molly, each session is different. You know, a lot of times questions are great for getting those students to dive deeper into their arguments. You know, you can ask those questions like, why, the why aspect of their argument, or why is something like that. Um, you're still teaching them a lesson, but more directly. The question should be as specific and direct as they can be without inserting your own ideas into the paper. <sighs> Sounds really complicated. It's not, it's not. Look, we got a program for you. English 388W. It's two and a half hours a week, Molly. It's going to teach you how to structure your questions better, so you're really going to be helping your students. Most importantly, Molly, it's going to help you be a better tutor. Please, Molly, take these steps to becoming a better tutor. Okay, I'll do it.